Mm-hmm. They made Eddie Murphy's character to be an outright fool and a demagogue, a raving hater of whites, yes. an obnoxious egomaniac mm-hmm. who can't even listen to sound reasoning right. from members of his own race. Right. Absolutely. And they also like to make them a sexist as well. So they love to turn black women away from strong black conscious alpha males. So what did you feel about the analogy that black people and white people will never be cool because the white people are the man is the man who cheated and the black people is the chick that can't get over it? What did you what now, did you feel about that? It's not because of the history. Yes. Uh huh. It's not because of the history. Mm-hmm. It's because of the present. White people have not stopped being the people they were 400 years ago. ago. All right. The white man today, he is the same white man that enslaved you. The same white man that lynched you. The Mm -hmm. same white man that castrated you. They have not changed their opinion or the collective consciousness about African people at all. So what the movie tries to do is mm-hmm. present a narrative that Black people stuck in the past. Okay, they can't right. get over the wrongdoing and move on. Uh-uh. It ain't about the past. It's right. about the past, the present, and what y'all planning in the future. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And, and, and one of the things that I dislike the most about the movie, two things, and there were many, mm-hmm. Eddie Murphy's character. Mm-hmm. White media always has to misrepresent the masculine, black conscious, unapologetically African black yes. male as a rambling racist. Yes, yes. An emotionally uncontrolled animal. Mm-hmm. Angry. Who is actually a greater threat to peace and harmony Mm -hmm. than the white man who caused all the problems we have in this country. Mm -hmm. That's That's number one. Mm -hmm. They made Eddie Murphy's character to be an outright fool and a demagogue. Mm -hmm. They always do that with black consciousness. That's Mm -hmm. how they dismiss the whole argument of Mm -hmm. black consciousness by making those who have it. Killmonger in Black Panther was another example. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Killmonger's character in Black Panther was another example. We're going to make the intelligent, mm-hmm. conscious Black nationalist mm-hmm. a raving hater of whites, yes. an obnoxious egomaniac mm-hmm. who can't even listen to sound reasoning right. from members of his own race. Right. Absolutely. And they also like to make them a sexist as well. So they love to turn black women away from strong black conscious alpha males. Mm -hmm. The Eddie Mm -hmm. Murphy character, Mm -hmm. the Killmonger character. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Number two, the white man is always the Mm -hmm. benevolent humanitarian. Right. Mm -hmm. If you notice the white guy who she's supposed to marry, he was the sweetest, humblest, nicest, (laughs) most understanding. He went out of his way to understand his father-in-law. He went out of his way (laughs) to understand his mother. He never got angry. He was never racist. He was like a white Jesus. He even went to the barbershop. (laughs) He even went to the barbershop. See that? (laughs) Right. See that? The black man is the enemy. The white man is your friend. Is the savior. Mm -hmm. They crucified the image of the black man in that movie. And they deified the image of the white man. Mm. Wow. Selling the white man to the black woman. Destruction of the black family. Cancel the black man. You don't need him. There's a there's a fat white man out there waiting for all of you. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Listen, brother, if that is your coconut queen, so be it. I don't support it. You know that we're not going to argue about it. Are you having a good day? I can sit down and talk to him. He's still a black man. I can't struggle with him because I know who he go home to. But I can sit down and have a conversation.